Today, let's compare the sizes of the five official dwarf planets in our solar system, starting with the smallest and working our way up to the largest. Before we dive in, here is a brief definition of a dwarf planet. A dwarf planet is an object that orbits the sun, has enough mass to be nearly round in shape, yet it has not cleared its orbital neighborhood of debris. First up is Ceres. This small, frozen world has a diameter of about 964 kilometers, which is approximately 599 miles. One thing that makes Ceres unique is its orbit. It lies in the inner solar system, nestled between the main asteroid belt, between Mars and Jupiter. As a result, Ceres is not only the largest object in that belt, but also the only dwarf planet that shares its orbital space with the major planets. Next we have Makemake. This reddish world measures roughly 1,434 kilometers in diameter, or about 891 miles. Like the rest of the other dwarf planets, Makemake orbits far beyond the eight major planets, in a region known as the Kuiper Belt. It also has one provisional moon, a candidate awaiting official naming by the International Astronomical Union, currently nicknamed MK2. The next dwarf planet by diameter is Haumea. This unique egg-shaped world stretches to about 1,740 kilometers, approximately 1,081 miles. Haumea's unusual form is due to its rapid rotation, which causes the body to elongate. Haumea is one of the fastest spinning objects in the solar system, and it also comes with a striking ring system, along with two known moons. Coming in at the number two spot is Eris. This cold, distant world has a diameter of about 2,326 kilometers or roughly 1,445 miles. Eris holds an interesting place in astronomical history because its discovery, with sizes and characteristics very similar to Pluto, led scientists to rethink what qualifies as a planet. Eris taught us that many similar objects inhabit the outer solar system and that a clearer definition of a planet was needed. Lastly, we arrive at Pluto, the most well-known of the dwarf planets. Pluto has a diameter of about 2,377 kilometers, or roughly 1,477 miles, making it only slightly larger than Eris. It is accompanied by five known moons, one of which, Charon, is about half the size of Pluto itself. Even nearly 20 years after its reclassification, the change in Pluto's status still strikes a nerve with people around the world. There are plenty of reasons why viewing Pluto as a dwarf planet makes sense, given its similarities to these objects compared to the major planets. I made a video a while back that dives into why Pluto was reclassified, and I'll link it here if you'd like to know more about it. The dwarf planets are such interesting objects to explore, because like the major planets, they each boast unique features. Just because they don't hold the full planet title does not make them any less interesting or important. And remember, these are only five officially recognized dwarf planets. There may be hundreds, perhaps even thousands of other objects waiting to be categorized as dwarf planets. That reality reminds me just how vast our solar system is, let alone the infinite space beyond it. Knowing our tiny place in the cosmos fills me with gratitude for the chance to experience life among these wonders, and I am truly thankful to share this moment with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video and would like to show your support, feel free to hit like, leave a comment, or share it with other curious minds. These small actions really help the channel, and I appreciate them very much. If you'd like to join me on more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. If you're still here, I have a fully side note. 
for anyone who may be interested in more of what I do creatively. I recently released a song alongside my brother. It is our debut release and the first release from our first album. This song and the upcoming album really explores everything my brother and I have experienced creatively and emotionally over the past decade or so across multiple genres of music. If you're interested in checking out the first song, I'll link it here. It is also on Spotify and the other streaming platforms. Thanks again, and I hope you have a wonderful day or night. Until next time, take care and be well.